Hey everybody, David here. Welcome back to Brick Vault. And today we're gonna take a look at a more obscure vehicle in the Star Wars universe that I'm sure you might actually not have heard about before. This is the TIE Scout from the real-time strategy game Empire at War. It's basically an Imperial FBI van and it's definitely one of the more bulkier designs of TIE fighters out there. We always love to expand our TIE collection, so let me know if you would like to see us branching out more towards the rather obscure and legend stuff, because there's still quite some variants to cover. Unfortunately, I don't have all of our ties in my studio as of now, but once they're all here, I'm definitely going to do a tie collection video. Let me know in the comments if that would be something you'd be interested in. Anyways, this custom LEGO tie scout was designed by Thwans Revenge, who designed the Flash Speeder as well and was involved in the design process of the ATDT and Separatist Droid Battle Pack as well. You can see that Thwans Revenge is a connoisseur of the obscure and I personally really like that he gives some of these ships some love that would otherwise be disregarded in the LEGO mock community completely. But before we get going, if you want to build this model for yourself, you can find the instructions and parts lists on our web store www.brickvault.toys, where we try to gather the most impressive and buildable LEGO mocks in one place for you to build for yourself. We work with designers all over the world and the builds have been tested physically to make sure everything is buildable and fun to put together. Just like this TIE Scout, which feels like a mix between a TIE Advance, similar to the one Darth Vader flies, and Kiadi Mundi. As always, here are the dimensions of the ship, and for reference, here's an oversized paperclip, and so you know how oversized it is, here is a regular sized paperclip for reference. This model is minifix scale, meaning you can actually fit minifix inside as well, which I will show you in a bit, but before I do that, Let's take a closer look at the outside details. Let's take a look at the wings or solar panels first. They are brick built and hinged with a bunch of hinge bricks that make sure that the wings stay in this position. The wings are strong enough that it can sit like this. They barely touch the ground so you can set it down wherever you want without worrying about anything disconnecting. The bottom part of the wing is set in place at that angle too. I like the detailing in these recessed areas next to the cockpit and I also like how these slits above the cockpit look. They kind of remind me of arrow slits in castles. I have no idea what they are for in universe actually though. Now what I personally find most interesting to look at are the side walls, which have a ton of details and greebling in them, a ton of recessed areas, and I always love the use of those small container door pieces. Just breaks up the surface nicely. But what surprised me the most was on the underside, because Thwan's Revenge put an unprecedented amount of attention to detail on a section that will probably never be seen on display, which shows you how much the designer cared. This is just cool, what can I say? Now let's open this beast up and show the interior details. Of course you have room for a pilot in the cockpit. For that just open the cockpit piece up and there are these three little flaps that you can fold out the way to get a minifig properly positioned inside. I found it helpful just removing a couple of the quarter dome pieces as well to get better access. Inside you have a couple of consoles as well as a couple of computers off to the side that you can angle towards the pilot which is nice. You can barely see it here because it's a little tough to film but you get the idea. And you can just close it up with the minifig inside no problem at all. Now to access the main interior you gotta take off this subassembly for the roof which is connected with only two studs to make it easy and inside you can see that you have plenty of space and details. This is a scouting vessel so of course you have two seats in front of computers for the minifix to look busy while scouting. I imagine the computer screens having those black screens with green writing rolling because that's obviously what it looks like when you do important computer stuff. The floor is covered with grill tiles for that extra attention to detail and what's also really cool is the inclusion of two bunk beds at the back just in case your mission takes a little longer. Wikipedia says that this ship has space for three people so I'd say this is accurate to that, having two seats here and one for the pilot in front. Now for the handling section of the video you can see this model is fairly strong. It's a hefty build with over 2000 parts so I wouldn't pick it up from any of the wing assemblies but what I found works the best is to just pick it up with two hands from the sides here. Please note that you cannot pick it up with one hand from the walls because they would fold in if you put pressure on them from the sides. This ship is fairly swooshable though so that's always fun and yeah. That's our newest addition to the TIE family. 
I wish I already had all ties here to compare it to, but I promise I'll make a video when I get all the builds. Don't forget that you can always pick up the instructions for this and many more builds. That always supports us, meaning the designers and myself, so we can continue bringing you these cool builds. And especially with builds that are a little more niche, we need some more support than usual, so we know that you guys actually like those and would like to see us do more sort of niche stuff in the future as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, nobody guessed this week's build right in the last video, obviously, so no one to shout out, but make sure to leave a comment with your guess what the next model release will be, and I'll shout you out in next week's video, and yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time at Wickford.